Well, there are numerous benefits of accreditation, uh, and I'll talk about three primarily, uh, benefits for students, uh, benefits for faculty, and benefits for the institution. Uh, students uh, benefit from the accreditation by going to a business school that uh, has been evaluated against standards and criteria from uh, peers in the business education profession and found to be a high quality educational business school or business program. Therefore, they can uh, put on their resumes and uh, when they're uh, in an interview process, communicate to the employers that I graduated from an accredited business program. Now, if I'm interviewing uh, 10 or 12 uh, applicants and only one of them tells me they graduated from an accredited business program, that gives me a competitive edge in the hiring process. A benefit to faculty members is significant in professional development. Uh, when faculty members uh, come to regional meetings and national uh, conferences, they then learn from their peers uh, what they're doing well at their institutions, um, as well as uh, participating in the peer review evaluation process. There's a training process associated with that that's part of professional development. And when a faculty member or, or administrator is reading a self-study, completed by another school, they learn a tremendous amount, and when they participate in a site visit, they again learn a tremendous amount that they can take back to their institution, modify slightly to fit their culture and climate, and implement. So it's a tremendous uh, professional development opportunity for faculty. For institutions, uh, letting the, the public know, especially uh, stakeholders within their area, uh, that their business program has gone through an assessment and been found to be a high quality uh, business degree from professionals in the field, uh, it adds to the community. But a, a bigger part of that um, is also when a regional accreditor comes in to assess a school for an, a regional accreditation and they have program accreditation, the regional accreditors don't look as hard in that specific area because they know it's been evaluated already uh, in great detail by the program accreditor. School has to meet uh, six standards and anywhere between 23 and 37 criteria within those six standards, depending on whether it's an associate degree program or a baccalaureate graduate degree program. But they have to meet standards of leadership. Are the leaders establishing the strategic vision for the business unit and are they communicating that vision effectively to all the stakeholders? Uh, they have to be involved in the community. As, uh, the, are the leaders do they have a process to give back to the community through volunteerism and through um, recycling um, environmental impact? That's a part of standard one. Standard two, strategic planning. Uh, do they have a strategic planning process, long-term long -term goals, short-term goals, uh, and action plans? Standard three is uh, student and stakeholder satisfaction. So uh, the school has to communicate with their stakeholders and measure their meeting the needs of their stakeholders and report that uh, standard four, student learning outcomes. Uh, there has to be multiple processes assessing student learning uh, formatively and summatively and reporting trend data on that and improving their educational processes based on what they learn from that student assessment process. Standard five is uh, faculty and staff focus. Are the faculty qualified to be teaching the classes they're teaching? Uh, that's a very important uh, criterion for uh, ACBSP and Standard 5, and faculty development, scholarly activity, uh, those kinds of issues. Um, uh, standard 6 is process management, which we evaluate their curriculum. Um, they, we actually have 11 common professional components that all business students have to be involved with throughout their education to have a accredited business degree. Things like marketing, management, finance, accounting, international business, computers, statistics. Um, and um, standard six also includes operational uh, performance results and support performance results as well as enrollment management. So the six standards uh, are critical. A school has to meet all six of those standards or they cannot be accredited by ACDSP.